Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different because today's vlog is a bittersweet vlog because today we are saying goodbye to my second childhood home. So we've had this home since 2006 and the past couple weeks it sold. So we just loaded up the moving trucks and our cars and we're sweaty hot messes and it is time to say goodbye to the house that built me. So I'm going to take you along with one last tour of this beautiful home that has brought so much good and good memories to my family and it's a home that my husband and I lived in for a little bit. I've had every single bedroom in this house. I had sleepovers and birthdays and holidays and just so much joy in this home and there's been a lot of heartache in this home but this house has always brought comfort and you know I brought my daughter home to this house I had holidays and all that stuff just good memories and I know that we will make new memories in a new home obviously I have moved out with my husband and we have our own little home but there's always that going back to mom and dad's house and so I wish them the best of luck to find their new home and I wish the new owners as much joy and happiness that this house has brought us and I hope that they love it just as much as we did and we still always will. It will always have a special place in our heart and our childhood memories. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the house tour that I will always cherish and that one day I will show Ayana because she will not remember this house, but it's it's been good. So thank you home for comforting and being our shelter and loving us. Right when you walk through the front door is the living room. This has held my wedding shower, bridal shower, lots of parties and family gatherings. Our Christmas tree used to go in that right corner by that window, which it's a 12 foot Christmas tree. So let me tell you, there are many stories on putting that tree up that I could tell you. And then you're in the master bedroom. This was the room that John and I actually had before moving to our apartment. Ayana's crib fit perfectly in that little nook. It was a sweet little nursery area. And then you have the bathroom where lots of hair dye messes, Epsom salt baths, and mermaid baths with Ayana have been in. This is where our dining room table was. We gathered here for breakfast, lunch, dinner, holiday meals, game nights. It was a place where endless conversations were held. And this is our beautiful kitchen. Of course, we had lots of meals prepared in this, parties planned in this. This is actually the kitchen Ayana had her first bath in. And up on the porch is the man grill where lots of yummy burgers were made and a big beautiful backyard where Chloe came home to. She has always loved this backyard. My sister and I used to play. We had a trampoline. It's been a beautiful yard. Lots of running and cartwheels down that hill. There has been lots of pictures taken next to those brick walls and I've also done YouTube videos and then the upstairs bedroom this was actually the room that we stayed in and we brought Ayana home to so we slept in this room for almost the first month of her life and it holds a lot of memories
Now we make our way downstairs where John and I actually lived in when we first moved back to Missouri from Texas. So this was our home. It's definitely big enough. It's basically another home in itself. Full on living room, kitchen, there's two bedrooms, a bathroom. Our Christmas tree actually went right next to that fireplace. And there's just so many great times down there with friends, sleepovers, holidays, playing the Wii, watching movies. This was my sister's room before we all moved. this bathroom has lots of memories of doing our hair, makeup, and it's actually the bathroom that I found out I was pregnant in. And then this was John and Mai's bedroom. And this little room was just an office area, storage area, exercise room at one point. It's just kind of a random room. One of our favorite rooms in the house was, of course, this theater room. It was so amazing to have, especially once we got a projector and could actually use it. And this was also where we went during tornado warnings and... It's just where we cuddled together and have spent many times because of the tornado warnings and movies. And then the office. I didn't go in this room too much, but this room was actually unfinished when we bought the house. And so my little sister and I used to actually use it as a playroom because my parents didn't care what we did in there. It was unfinished. But then when our house flooded, they went ahead and remodeled it and turned it into an office. And another view of the backyard. And actually, fun fact, my best friend lived in that house right behind our house. So we used to jump that fence and try to figure out cool ways on how we could make a slide or something to get across to each other. But it was great having her live behind us at one point. Of course, before leaving, we had to sign our names just to leave a little footprint in this house that we called home for many years. In this home, we did sharing, we did laughter, we made mistakes, we gave second chances, we did real, sometimes we did silly, we did our best, we did fun, we did grace, we did I'm sorry's, we did loud really well, we gave hugs, we did family, we did awesome, we gave love, all in this home. It was our home.